Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so, you know, remember last week when the river in Siberia was running blood red right through the, right through the snow, just this unbelievable crimson red flow. Well, I told you that there would be, uh, they would be doing toxicology. They would be doing all kinds of different testing to see what caused this river to turn blood red. Reports are of coming back negative everywhere. They cannot figure out why the water turned blood red. Now, World Net Daily has just done an article on this now about 13 hours ago. I am quoted in the article. They even quoted me back from the days when the Texas Blood Lake turned blood red back in 2011. And that was the first time out of these 35 events, 35 times water has turned blood red in the world since the lake turned blood red in Texas seven years ago. That's right, seven years ago. Matter of fact, in the great article here, I got to give World Net Daily a lot of a lot of credit for covering this correctly. They give you all the scientific uh, possibilities that nobody can explain, and then they quote me. They say, well, in the prophetic book of Revelation, the scriptures foretell a time when oceans and rivers will flow with blood again. Revelation 8.8 8 states, and the second angel sounded, as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And Revelation 16, 3 and 4, the Bible states, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. And here's what they wrote. It was that hint of future biblical events rather than the echo of ancient ones that Pastor Paul Begley pointed to when the water into blood phenomenon was seen at a Texas lake in 2011. I'm not saying that this Texas lake is the scriptures in Revelation, Begley said, but what I am saying is that Bible prophecies are slowly fulfilling themselves in the midst of an end-time revelation, that we need to be right, we need to be saved, we need to be born again and ready to meet the coming king. Officials in all of these events are rejecting any kind of supernatural explanation, declaring that there must be some other explanation basically for the water change, yet folks, none of the scientific studies, tests, results have been able to prove what caused the water to turn blood red. Well, again, maybe just turn to the Bible. It said it was going to happen, and it's happening. A river running blood red in Siberia, Russia. Are you serious? And what's amazing is this blood crimson red flow was flowing in the, uh, in the woods area, wooded area, right through snow on either side. It was like the scripture says in Isaiah, come, let's reason together. Thus saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, I'll make them as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, I'll make them as white as wool. Something biblical is going on here, folks, with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you saved? Are you ready to meet the Lord? Time is certainly running out. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern, 12 noon Eastern, uh, right here on this YouTube channel. 